Hey everyone, this is Tom with the Green Dot Group. So excited to be sharing with you another video on design thinking. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some of the benefits that an organization, as well as the project team, can expect to experience as a result of using the design thinking process. I'm gonna start with the very first benefit, which may not be obvious, but is critically important. I think design thinking maximizes the individual. Design thinking, if you're one of those individuals who may be a strong analytical mind, design thinking is gonna help you, you know, continue to use those skills. We're not saying they're not important and we're not saying leave them at home. We're saying there's another set of skills that you need to activate in order to create a good balance between your left and right brain thinking. And design thinking really helps to awaken that emotional brain. It really allows individuals to think more completely and more creatively. And that's an exciting benefit about the design thinking process. Another benefit to design thinking is that it employs empathy. And I think within that is a major competitive advantage. From one, empathy from an operator's perspective, it really helps them understand the work in total and they gain appreciation for the operators who work upstream and downstream of their processes. And just being empathetic to how individuals have to collaborate and work together and maybe try to see the process from all those different people's perspectives really can help unite them as a team. The other advantage from an empathetic perspective is the empathy you have towards the customer. And really, that is something that helps you challenge your assumptions and really put yourself in their shoes to see the world the way that they do and then design solutions from that perspective. In that case, empathy will lead teams to more disruptive, out-of-the-box thinking that creates innovative solutions that the customer actually wants. A third benefit of design thinking is as individuals participate in the design thinking process, Oftentimes, it's the first step in self-discovery. You begin to learn that you can develop new skills and you can adopt different mindsets. For example, when we talked about individuals who are very strong in analysis and their analytical brain is dominant, you know, maybe they can learn that they can achieve better balance between their analytical and their creative mind. And that could really be a flywheel type effect for that person's growth and development. And I've seen it on teams and it's pretty excited to watch happen. And as those individuals are learning more and more about themselves, in regards to maybe a theory like Maslow's, you can see that that individual is starting to reach self-actualization. And in that, they put themselves in a better position to serve someone else. And I think that's the fourth benefit of design thinking is that all the work is performed and done with the intention to serve someone else and helps to create a more customer-centered culture, which in itself is a competitive advantage. A fifth benefit to design thinking, yes, I know there's a fifth benefit. There's probably countless benefits that I don't have time to unpack. So I'm just giving you my top six. So bear with me, there's this one and then one more. So the fifth benefit that I get excited about when teams adopt design thinking is that design thinking really helps to establish psychological safety. Through the design process, individuals grow in their ability to be comfortable while being uncomfortable. And they feel the responsibility to speak up and advocate for the customer and to point out when something's not right. Additionally, within the design thinking process, there's no such thing as failure. There's only learning. And I think as individuals use the design thinking process, they start to grow in their confidence and in their comfort and ability to take risk. The last benefit that I see happen within organizations that use design thinking is that the design thinking process and whatever you apply it to creates a ripple effect. You see teams that use the design thinking process think in different ways and bring forward solutions that teams have never thought of before within that organization. And it causes individuals to turn their heads and look at that and wonder, well, how did that happen? 
and because they're so curious and excited about the results of the work that's coming, then they see design thinking has an enabler and they challenge themselves to find ways to use it in other aspects of their business. And it's a great thing of this tool is in most contexts, it's used for problem solving. But design thinking isn't just a framework for bringing forward customer centered solutions. It's also a mindset that if you can employ it at the strategic level of an organization, I think the organization will begin to be more risk accepting and willing to try things that maybe they wouldn't have tried before.